said, oh, we said we have allergies to sherb. I said, yeah, but this is for other people. It's not for you. Oh, no, we don't want to die. No, what is this? What are you doing? What? It's almost like a, what do you call it, like social shaming? Yeah, so like people quietly shame other people just because they're coughing or sneezing. So you have to like kind of hold it in if you don't want that sort of attention. Even I find myself like doing it sometimes and I don't want to do that. You know, at the moment, Japan is not on lockdown or anything. They're just trying to limit the amount of people that are going out at night. But yeah, in other parts of the world, it's, it's pretty bad. And I, I really genuinely want this, all of this to, to end. And so people can live normal lives, so people can be healthy and not fear being around each other or like being stuck on social media, like posting like, oh, quarantine, blah, 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 this is what I have to do for 30 days. I have to stay in my apartment and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I think actually people are trying to be, look at it in a positive light. Like, okay, they're quarantined for 30 days. What are they gonna do to be productive? People are looking at it in a positive way. teaching English sure. to, you know, to be able to work and live here. Sure. And we come into contact with hundreds of adults in a month, you know, and we have to sit here, be in a small space with them, talk to them. That's a big concern for foreigners, for, yeah. uh, for us. And yeah, okay, they're coming and they choose to take a lesson with us, but we have to work in order to live and we're being forced to work when we could potentially contract the, the virus. <laughs> so, you know, they're not gonna shut down the company unless of course the government forces them to shut down. In Japan, have you been to different cities, different prefectures, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, different uh, islands. Yes, I've been to many cities in Japan. It'd be kind of a long list, um, though I want to see more of the countryside. Sapporo, Okinawa, Nikko, um, Nagoya, Osaka, Kyoto, Higashiyomi, uh, Kamakura, uh, Odawara, Kash so yeah, more Kawasaki of course, Na Nagoya. Yokohama, yeah, wow. Nagoya. Um, so many, many, many cities, and, and I want to see more. There are so many other places I want to see, and so many other special areas to visit. Where where have you visited? Probably everywhere. Everywhere, wow. Yeah. What was your favorite? I would love to live in Kyoto. Ooh, Kyoto. Yeah. When I go there, I start to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last year, I was there with some of Egyptian friends. Mm -hmm. They were visiting, and uh, we were taking them around Kyoto. Mm -hmm. They were like my guests. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go there, I like, I they said, what? what is going on? Are you, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Daijoubu. Kyoto for me is like a very nice, beautiful place. Yes. Place, yeah. People also, I have a very good uh, omoide very good uh, memories right mm. right with the people because i lived in kansai area mm. for four years wow yes. so that um whole area yes. was yeah yes. very very special to you yes um, wakayama osaka kyoto nara all these areas are like a part to me and uh, but do you enjoy living in tokyo now yes of course mm -hmm. uh, i came to tokyo because i definitely wanted to meet more people more people and also make more opportunities Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also uh, diversity. Yes, the, there's more diversity. Is there is there a prefecture you would like to visit or have not visited that you... A place called Izumo. Izumo. So I heard there's a good onsen there. Down south? Mm. Uh, I was interviewing some guys mm -hmm. and they said about Izumo and showed me the places oh. in the phone. I said, wow, I need to go there. Is it one of those brown onsen? Like brown? Yeah. It is. Yes. Oh, I've been dying to try one of those. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so, so you want to go there one day? Sure. Uh, for me, actually, uh, I really love and enjoy meeting people mm -hmm. and learn about what they think. And how can we find meeting points? And mm -hmm. all these kind of things that really passionate me and motivate me and inspire me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learn from people. Mm -hmm. I think we can learn something from everyone. You know, sure. um, whether it's a good lesson or <laughs> the opposite. <Right. laughs> yeah, and people are just interesting. They're just really interesting. They come from so many different backgrounds they have so many different life stories experiences and skill sets it's great what's your favorite area in Tokyo my favorite area in Tokyo that's a big question mm. I lived in four different areas in Tokyo it's crazy <laughs> when I say this because in Japan if you make a kushi mm -hmm. there's a lot of process you have to make like going to the city hall yes, registering it. yeah yes mm -hmm. yes your zairyo card or mm -hmm. your bank account and oh. a lot of stuff oh god yeah you have to update your because I'm looking for another place. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Ikebukuro. Mm -hmm. I lived here. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, this is one of my top favorite areas. Mm, mine too. I was living in the other side, near the Sunshine. But Sunshine then, City. Mm. Also in Shibuya. We had a kebab restaurant in Shibuya. And uh, I lived in Sitagaya. Quiet area. Yeah, it's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I've considered maybe going to Setagaya. Within the next few months, I'm trying to get an apartment. So I'm um, trying to find the perfect area, but probably like West Tokyo or something. from Tokyo mm -hmm. so we're not like very crowded areas yeah 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 I have a friend that wants to live like right in in the center of Shinjuku and I just don't understand that because that's like so much <laughs> like it's nice to just be maybe a few stops away from a major station and live in sort of a quiet neighborhood but that's me of course and uh, some people really like the lively millions of people crowding their apartment building like <laughs> so different perspectives so you live now in Takadonobaba? Uh, no, I live uh, in Nakano. Oh. I really like Nakano. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. By the Yamanote line? Close to the Yamanote. Chu line? Chu line, uh, Seibu Shinjuku. Seibu Shinjuku. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah, I like that whole area. Maybe I'll try to stay in that area, but I'm trying to look for possibly a different different area closer to Shibuya maybe, or Shimokitazawa. Why Shibuya? Um, because Shibuya, it has everything. One of my top tours mm -hmm. is in Shibuya. We have a tour called All You Can Eat Food Tour, mm -hmm. which we take the people until they say, Hey Adam, go home. Mm -hmm. We don't need any more food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just stop it. And uh, because we have a lot of contact with restaurants there, so I find it very easy for me. A lot of tourists go to Shibuya, so it's very interesting. It's really interesting. So you, you really just meet so many people, all of your tours and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, so what, what are some of the most interesting people that you've met on your tour? Interesting uh, either personality or, or like their career path or just I guess who they are um, as an individual. Uh, so uh, I, I met a couple, they were from England actually, London. <laughs> Best <Yeah>. place! <laughs> and, uh, they were traveling the world together. I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've met them, I welcomed them, I started to Google with them and mm -hmm. this and then uh, I learned about their experiences and how both of them they were like in different relations but then they found each other and mm -hmm. stuff like this. And it was amazing and uh, what I liked that they, they really enjoyed the tour and also they felt and they said to me, Adam, you made Japan feel at home. That's beautiful, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, I would really enjoy their company and uh, uh, I felt that I, I made something good about the food and what to eat. Mm -hmm. I gave them like a uh, guide mm -hmm. where they can eat mm -hmm. after the tour. So have you met any like crazy people? Uh, yes. You have? Yeah. <laughs> so they had a, a allergy with shrimp and uh, when we enter a sushi shop, they start to say, oh no, we don't want to die. No. What is this? What are you doing? What? Hey guys, what is what is happening? You know, you're in Japan here. You're, you're with me, you know. Yeah. How, how how you know like what's wrong? Said, oh, we said we have allergies to shrimp. I said yeah, but this for other people. It's not for you. And they were like, no, no, I don't want to die, and no, I don't want to go to the hospital. And I was like very, you know, like very shy from mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. and then I took them out and I told them, hey guys, you know what? You either have to find your way alone, uh -huh. or you're gonna have to phone me, but. What you have done this is very different yes you don't do that <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah you don't do this here guys mm -hmm. it's a sushi place mm -hmm. and it's omakase sushi omakase. so yeah it's it's a place where we even cannot talk oh wow yeah okay we just have to go inside mm -hmm. and the chef can give us his recommendation mm -hmm. that's it that's it and no talking besides right, that right 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 oh, so they really yeah Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to like calm down the situation and right. stuff. Well, it sounds like you dealt with it professionally and you did a good job. And <laughs> what, what did they end up doing? Uh, so uh, at the middle of the tour, mm -hmm. uh, they said, no, I don't, uh, we're like too scared to continue. The, we kind of leave this. I said, okay, mm -hmm. it's my pleasure to have you today. And mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. I didn't really understand that it is this serious. Right. But uh, let's keep in touch. And if you need any help, mm -hmm. you send me any emails or something. I'll be very happy to answer. And then they left. <laughs> Um, Have you had any like crazy experience or something you really didn't like? What, what is going on? Right. Um, I was walking in Shinjuku Station. This happened two different times. A, man, a random Japanese man would come walk up to me, whisper something in my ear, and walk off. <laughs> I don't know what they said, but they'll just they they say something, walk off. My Japanese isn't amazing yet. I don't know what they're saying. So to me, it's like, well, thanks for invading my space. Bye. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what their intentions are, but um, th those are some crazy experiences. Uh, you have some Japanese friends? Yes. How how, how different are from different? Are they from the like States. foreign friends or, or yeah. American friends? Um, I think the biggest thing is like if we decide to do something or what well, the decision making process. When we're trying to decide what to do, usually I always end up making the decisions and that's because they're trying to be polite and uh, they want to take, you know, my opinion into consideration and I totally understand that. That's different because in the States, we'll both have opinions and we both can just make a decision um, with the opinions like right away. But like I always feel bad with maybe my Japanese friends because I, I want to hear what they have to say too but they always want to make sure that I'm happy with the decision and I, I just want to hear more of their opinion I think. But that's because I come from a Western country and we just have a different way of communicating with each other. <laughs> I've, I've made so many friends here, so many creative friends, so many uh, motivated individuals and that's what I love surrounding myself around. And the trains, the, everything's so much more accessible. I hate driving, so I really like having trains and I could, if a friend's like, hey, you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'll go right now. I'll just go. But in the States, I'd be like, ugh, I have to drive, so no. <laughs> yeah.